Hey. We are. We are getting ready. Season six, week three. Ka Ka Condor. I am waiting for Resh to go online on our team. There we go. Cool. All right, so both of our racers here are in uh, just over the 1,000 ELO here. Um, 1,067 for Resh, 1,069 for Mint. Uh, Resh has a record of 4 and 11 with a best win of 11.41 and an average win time of 13.59, just scooting right under that 14 minutes. And Sailor Mint has a record of 10 and 8. Uh, with a best win of 940 and an average win of 1209. So Mint with uh, quite the better record there. Um, and some overall faster time. So we'll see how we'll see how it goes in this match. But both of our races are here. Welcome everyone in chat. This is where Rush avenges me. Nice. I am a biased commentator today. I need Sailor Mint to win. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. Um, I need to switch out a studio. All right, we are all set. I'm ready for the seed. It's nine o'clock Eastern on the East Coast. That's what Eastern means. So our racers should have their seeds, and there it is, the copy pasta. There are also two other races going on at the same time. We have Emu Emu and King Torture, as well as Hypershock and Skullgirls racing uh, at the same same time here. So I'll give you some updates as the races progress, if I can find them. And uh, we should be good to go here. Ready. Oh, I didn't, I didn't turn that off. We're not ready. <laughs> Thank you for the host, Sailor Man. <laughs> New oh, God, I'm pressing the wrong buttons. All right. Disabled, this disabled. Is this is a test. Disabled. Disabled. Save settings. All right. We shouldn't have that problem anymore. <laughs> All right, good, good, good. I am now ready. So if you're interested in those other races, they're over on Pantsler's channel and Basing's channel, but we are off over on Tic Tac Foe's channel. Our racers are down in their 1-1, finding an early bat cave for both of them. Rush is gonna destroy those bats because bat caves are super annoying and need to be rectified. Speaking of bats, Dire Bats, your first mini boss in 1-1. One, one. Uh, we do have a crack wall, which Sailor Mint is blowing open here. It is a glass shop, so shall we throw? It's pretty good glass shop. I would kill for that, but, you know, not so, not everything works. Uh, Rest is just buying the shovel here. Sailor Mint is going to take uh, the entire shop here. We'll see if he takes the jaw, too. Jaw's always good. Rush is down to 1-2, finding a base harp in his... Uh, Black chest is gonna leave it behind. Sailor Mint is just gonna use the glass, not the jaw. So already on a four damage build here, but Rush is finding a trap door is down to one three. Working this uh, glass shovel and uh, base dagger. Looks like Sailor Mint is tracking towards that same trap door and is down it himself. So we won't be seeing a blood shop this uh, run. Oh, there's a shrine of darkness over on Rush's side. Is it a real boy? It's a real boy, and uh, the shop's real close, so he could backpedal and check to see what's in the shop. Sailor Mint opening a crate finds uh, some ballet shoes, but it's going to leave them behind. Uh, I like what Sailor Mint's doing. He's uh, going back to that shop, finding out what's inside of it. Could find that early ring or heavy plate. Not, there's an axe in there. A blood axe, uh, monocle, and battle shovel, so that's a good switch out for Sailor Mint. Rush is down to the zone one boss, which is death metal. Using only a dagger for this fight, it's going to be super awkward, especially in the dark here. At least we can see uh, death metal's uh, hearts. And Rush is using the bomb placement correctly there. Gets uh, death metal down to one heart and flawless victory. Well done. We're going to check the black chest here and get a better weapon. It's old faithful. We have that. 
That good old, good old titanium longsword. Sailor Mint spent the time to kill that red dragon and get the lucky charm before moving down to death metal. So Rush has the opportunity to push the lead here. Um, Sailor Mint will be checking purple chest though, I believe. Uh, looks like Sailor Mint switched back to that glass cat too. Um, one more hit on death metal here and we'll be checking purple chest. I imagine Sailor Mint's gonna keep, oh, has the monocle, can see it all. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get that heal spell. Another purple chest. Rush finding an obsidian scimitar, uh, cutlass. <laughs> it's not a scimitar, it's a cutlass. In uh, two two, that's a nice find there. Quite the upgrade. I'm assuming Sailor Mint's gonna find that themselves and get it too. Losing their glass armor, getting wind maged, pulled into them, the the void of the wind maids hug. <laughs> that's a thing, right? But uh, oh, Sailor Mint getting hit by that that uh, that ghost, that white, and uh, breaking their glass cat. So now is really on the defensive here. Needs to go shopping and find something better. Spending a lot of time. Rush is down to the zone two boss. It's King Kanga. And Sailor Mint does get down to two two. He's going to be looking for that Obsidian Cutlass, which he sees right there. Has to bomb to get there. Doesn't have to bomb to get there. Has a uh, a battle shovel, which could have uh, dug through all of that. So just hitting a bomb for show. Uh, Rush finding a scroll of need in the purple chest. Going to leave it be, huh? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Gets, uh, uh, brings it along and uh, conjures a torch with the scroll of need. So that's going to be a uh, battle torch there. Torch of strength, going to have plus one damage on that obsidian cutlass. It's nice to have a plus one damage on any obsidian because if you do get in a situation where you drop a beat, you still have that two damage threshold. So I do like that. Uh, what I don't like, though, is that he now has a torch after hitting the Shrine of Darkness, which you kind of want to avoid. But uh, we should be checking shops here. As well, you do have that lead, and you want to get off that darkness ring. Uh, Rush taking a huge hit from a Minotaur there, and uh, going down to half a heart. Has a potion in tow, though, which both of our racers found in 2-2, I believe. Sailor Mink getting that flawless victory is going to grab that scroll of need. We'll see if he uses it or just keeps it. Rush can't find the door here to get, get into their shop. Has to do some slip and slides. There's the door. We'll check. There's a crack wall right by that door too. There's a backpack, a carrot, which we eat immediately, and a ring of piercing. That's really nice with the cutlass. You're piercing really nice anywhere. It's a conjurer shop. Rush is going to conjure some armor. That's a good call. Should conjure a shovel here too, which they do. As a uh, obsidian build now. Very nice. Sailor Mint's going to find that same shop here. Going to switch out the uh, the ring as well. Probably gonna conjure that chainmail as as uh, Rush did too, but Rush is down to the Zone Three boss, which is Fortissimal. Perfect timing with that notorious D.I.G. music playing in the background. Production value is crazy and totally calculated. <laughs> Sailor Mint really using that Cutlass while uh, diving into all these enemies by the uh, door. There's a heavy plate in that shop over there. We're not gonna see it though. Sailor Mint needs to make up some time here as uh, Rush has pulled forward. Uh, did Flawless Victory that Fortissimo found a freeze spell in the purple chest. Really good find, really safe. Going into mini boss rooms, just hit that freeze. And uh, there we see the piercing working really well, taking down some Blade Masters with no trouble at all. Sailor Mint's gonna get that uh, freeze spell as well. There's a Squaga suit as well. This is a nice boss weapons. Monocle giving all the love. Rush down to 4-2 just as Sailor Mint's uh, getting his feet wet in 4-1, though. And both of our racers are having a little bit of bomb trouble. Rush finds a second one there in 4-2. Uh, but it's going to need at least one more to have a comfortable Necker Dancer fight. We don't want to do any butt puzzles. Sailor Mint has zero bombs, so we'll be keeping their eye out as well. With that monocle, it's going to be a lot easier to spot them if not just on the mini-map. There's excellent use uh, of the freeze spell by Rush, getting caught by a little bit of a swarm there, just uh, decides to freeze and take care of it. Sailor Mint gonna skip a lot of health in that shop right there, really thinks they need to catch up the Rush. 
But both of them are on the same floor here. Looks like Resh is opening up all these boxes, finding all the goodies. Does find a third bomb as well. But Sailor Mint is catching up here, almost in the same room. It's going to need to grab that bomb too, but might leave it behind. Yeah, looks like Sailor Mint's going to push on through. We are now down to Core Riff at the same time. <laughs> Rush has a, a backpack full of carrots. That's amazing. Rush has your... Ah, oh, the Steam. The Steam friends, though. <laughs> Both of our racers are freezing. Uh, Core Riff taking it down with ease, down to 5-1. But Resh really has the advantage here with that uh, three bomb count. Sailor Mint only having one. Rush down to 5 2 first, but we are on the same floor. Doesn't look like there's going to be any bombs on this floor, though, so Sailor Mint's got to have some RNG here with those bombs, unless uh, they're hoping for a blast helm in the. Uh, Dead Ringer chest, which is never reliable, but always there. <laughs> oh, there's a Quake Scroll up uh, in the shop here. Mint's going to pick that up for the scroll instead of the scroll of need. Uh, that's going to be a quick Dead Ringer kill, which is uh, will help a little bit, but uh, I think the bomb difference is going to be too much for Mint to catch up here. Rush down to Dead Ringer first is in the door. Uh, can't see where Dead Ringer is with that Shrine of Darkness, and Mint using that Quake Scroll immediately gets the Flaw's victory. It was a right side spawn, so Rush is going to have an easy scoot up the left lane. Uh, there's a Bomb Charm that's not enough to help Mint, though. Only has one bomb, so he's going to have to do a few butt puzzles here. Rush will be able to bomb the stage as they start doing tanking the hits. I like that. It does have the health. Okay, backed off on that one, but... <laughs> Does have the loot, and is uh, down to phase two of this Necro Dancer fight. Oh, Mint's not using uh, the bomb charm here uh, correctly. Getting into phase two, but can't get that loot until we finish these butt puzzles, and that's so much harder when you're in phase two. <laughs> Has to do two more butt puzzles now, and uh, Rush uh, taking a Necro Dancer bomb there. Had to quaff the potion. But is down to one heart on the Necker Dancer. Dorian's taking a lot of hits here, though. Okay, there it is. There's a that's gonna be a win for Rush as Sailor Mint gets dunked by uh, a Nightmare. Sub ten, excellent race by both of our racers. Getting down to that Necker Dancer fight and moving on. That's gonna be a win for Rush, taking the one loot off of Sailor Mint in the first round. All right, let's see if we can get an update from uh, the other races here. Oh my gosh, Pantsler's using the crazy. <laughs> uh, the crazy overlay, um, which unfortunately doesn't tell us who won, so I don't know if King Torture or Emu uh, got a point there. <laughs> uh, but over on Basing's channel, we have Hypershock and Skullgirls. They are still in their first race. Looks like Hypershock's in Zone 4, Skull Skullgirls in Zone 1. King Torture took the first race. Thank you, Riot Blob. So that's one point over Emu Emu. We'll get the next one here underway between Rush and Sailor Mint. <laughs> that's such a goofy overlay. It's amazing. It looks like we're getting our seeds entered here and we'll be off and running. Oh, this Chipsel track though. Chipsel's so good. All right, we're off. Both of our racers heading straight down. And we do see a crack wall there, so we'll see what's inside. It's going to be an early Shriner, and it does have that Shrine of Darkness again. Okay, Sailor Mint's going to bomb for the Ring of Regen. I don't know about this. Uh, looks like he's not going to survive this dragon fight anyway, though, so uh, we'll be resetting. Rush uh, farmed up some money there, and it's taking uh, the uh, Shrine of Darkness. 
Uh, I, I gotta say, I like Rush's play better there. Uh, it's 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 a really easy choice. You, you can get a super nice build the way Sailor's going about it here, uh, but has to take care of the dragons with the base dagger, and that, that's a lot to do. Um, but this time is gonna bomb up and just hit that Shrine of Darkness uh, as Rush is already down to 1-2. Finds the blood shop here. We'll be able to pick up that stuff for free. Uh, grabs the obsidian torch. I'm maybe by accident. Once again, you don't want to take a torch after uh, you've hit that shrine of darkness. Looks like Sailor Mint went down as uh, they're back into this shriner here, getting that shrine of darkness again. Really giving Rush a uh, head start here as he moves down to one three. Picking up a golden warhammer though, so we're gonna have a little bit of a defensive build on Rush's side. Using a bomb to break open this Minotaur, but is getting quickly surrounded. That's the problem with the Warhammer. Uh, you, you need to be very sure of what you're jumping into because if it's an immediate swarm, it, it's go you're going to have a bad time. Uh, Mint doing some shopping here with that Ring of Darkness is going to get a Blast Helm and a Base Axe and a Shovel Upgrade. While Rush is down to the Zone 1 boss, Fortissimal. And Mint finding this Blood Shop 2 is going to take that, uh, yep, going to take the Golden Moor Hammer. Looks like Resh found a Ring of War in the purple chest for Fortissimo, so two damage, uh, War Hammer's pretty alright. I mean, it's not fast, but that axe is <laughs> finding a Blood Axe in 2-1 right before the stairs as an excellent switch out, so two damage Blood Axe is going to be real nice. Uh, Mint's gonna be down to that Fortissimal fight. It's gonna have to take out this Minotaur first. Uses the Blast Helm well to destroy it. And, uh, is gonna be taking down the Unholy Moly. Rush getting a right rat in the shop here. We're gonna have a friend coming along with them. Alright, Mint's gonna get this war, uh, Ring of War as well. And it's probably gonna be picking up this, uh, Blood Axe, uh, just like Rush has. After taking out this dragon. And we do have very similar builds, except that uh, Sailor does not have the torch. Which, um, if you play pay close attention here, you're going to see, especially in Zone 3, um, Rush is going to be aggroing a lot more enemies than Sailor Mint will because of that torch uh, light radius. But Rush is down to that Zone 2 boss first. It's Deep Blues. Oh, gets knighted, Sir Resh. But Mint is down to deep blues as well, making up a lot of time in that 2-3. But the axe is not the best weapon for deep blues. You pretty much have to wipe wipe the entire board clean. Uh, Mint does get the flawless victory. He's going to check purple, finds a ring of gold. We're going to leave that behind. Uh, Resh switching off. Uh, yeah, should switch off to that Torch of Walls. It has a less, uh, uh, reduced light radius from that Obsidian Torch. But picks up some armor, too, more importantly. And Sailor Mint has overtaken Rush here. Is down to 3-2 first. Immediate Minotaur to, uh, to the up. <laughs> I want to say to the north, but it's not like these are cardinal directions. I don't know. Looks like Mint's going to do some shopping here in 3-3. Three, three. Uh, we have a Dove and a Gi. <laughs> uh, picks up Down Dove and a Obsidian Shovel. Rush is going to bypass this shop and move straight to the stairs, going down to the Zone 3 boss, Death Metal. Uh, Rush has a Pulse Scroll. Could just one-shot Death Metal here with it. But it looks like we're going to be taking it out with the Axe. Sailor Mint getting down to Death Metal. Just a little bit behind. And there's that Pulse Spell used by Rush. Uh, finishing off Death Metal after getting a little bit cornered by all them beetles. And for his reward, gets a uh, Pulse Spell to take around uh, the rest of the match. Looks like Sailor Mint's going to get the same Pulse Spell and is moving down to 4-1. So, in 4-1 here, I, I feel like Mint, can, or in Zone 4, uh, Mint can make up a lot of time here once again with that Shrine of Darkness, not having a torch, you're going to see a lot less enemies aggroed. Oh, that wall pig guarding those stairs. <laughs> Rush using the Pulse Spell and uh, 
hitting a bomber goblin to take out that wall pig. I like it. Look how simple it is for Mint to just scoot through these rooms where Rush is having to take on almost... Is, is already aggroing enemies from the the next room over. Mint's down to 4-3 already. There's a uh, vault here. Oh, no. <laughs> I saw the bat flying around there and thought it was a vault, but uh, it's just a potion. So uh, Mint getting bailed out here with a, a nice potion. Um, finds a transmog shop and is going to quickly get a squagga suit and keep moving. That's a really good switch out from uh, the glass and uh, mints down to the zone four boss you, you could see how quickly mint was able to make up time uh but not having to fight everything <laughs> zone four boss is core riff uh it's always awkward with an axe but uh, mint might be able to take out the enemies here get that pulse spell up and uh, uh hit core riff that way rest just getting down to four three putting that rat to work Taking out those Blade Masters. Sailor Mint's just going to skip the chest there, go down straight to zone 5. And it looks like Sailor Mint is uh, looking to get this loot back. Oh, Rush taking a bomb hit there. Down to one heart. Uh, I don't think Rush, Rush went the wrong way on, uh, or the other way <laughs> on 4-3 uh, here, and it's not going to find that potion. So I'll have to play this a little safe. That uh, uh, Blood Axe, though, does, does do the healings too, though, so that's nice. Rush is going to have to clean up. Oh, Rush is... Rush, you should be using your uh, quick scroll or uh, something on this boss here uh, just to get him off. Quick scroll might actually be a little awkward because it wouldn't take out the tentacles. But this is going to be a long fight for Rush. Gets the flawless victory, but Sailor Mint's about to go down to Dead Ringer. Uh, we have a right side spawn, so we're going to see left side scoots. And there's the flaws victory. Mint does have enough bombs this time. Does have a blast helm, so that stage is going to get wrecked. Blasted into oblivion. Never to be seen again until the next round. And there's stage two, the Necker Dancer fight. Rush doing an excellent job of cleaning up uh, this mini boss room. Pretty much wrecking everything as he stays on that conduit. And is down to their 5-3. But it's going to be too little too late here. Uh, Mint's already halfway done with this Necker Dancer fight. <laughs> Using the Pulse Spell to get unfrozen. I like it. The Pulse Spell just it always catches me off guard too because I'm just not used to seeing that X attack. Oh, Mint getting a, getting a bomb hit there, but doesn't matter because it has that Blast Helm. And uh, just as Rush finishes up, Dead Ringer, Mint's going to be going down uh, the Necker Dancer stairs there, and that's going to be the victory over to Sailor Mint. Evening it out, one to one. Update from our other races over on Basing's channel. Hypershock just died uh, in Zone 3 uh, racing Skullgirls. So Skullgirls has the advantage. Ooh, it has an Obsidian Axe too. But Hypershock took the first race over uh, Skullgirls. And once again, over on Pantsler's channel, I can't tell what's going on, so... <laughs> oh, he does have the, loop up, uh, the loot up. Uh, looks like King Torture's in Zone 5, Emu Emu's in Zone 4. King Torture has tons of health, so it looks like it's going to be a 2-0 to zero coming up for King Torture. All right, we have our next seed entered for our racers. We'll get that countdown going. We'll see who can take the 2-1 victory. And we're off. Uh, oh, and, and and we're off. Okay, countdown. Work with me. And we're off. Okay. I'm not, I'm not good at this. <laughs> trying to see in the Discord matrix when the countdown's going to be coming, but... <laughs> And we're off. Early Bat Cave, uh, I would just reset. Yep, Rush is doing the same. 
no point in having those bats just uh, run rampant around the around the level. But Mint's gonna continue on. He's gonna have a few beat advantage. Finds a green Dargan. Uh, didn't look like we found any chests or crack walls here, so we're going down to 1-1 one, one with uh, the same things we started with. Here's a crack wall in 1-2. It is the Blood Shop. 1-2 Blood Shops are generally good, and that's an amazing Blood Shop. Uh, Sailor Mint's going to try to kill for it. Very risky move, uh, but it looks like it's going to pay out here. Going to get that Squagga Suit and Obsidian Rapier for free. Uh, let's see what Rush does here. I, it's... I mean, you want both those items. Uh, Rush is just going to take... Yep, Rush is just going to take the Obsidian Rapier. Oh, wow! In a barrel right to the right for Sailor Mint. Finds a uh, weapon charm. So, plus one damage on that Obsidian Rapier. Sailor Mint's already got an amazing build. Touting that Blood Drum along, too. We're going to see some quick boss kills for... Uh, well, I guess just for Death Metal. Which is, which is good. And we're going to get an early Lucky Charm for Sailor Mint. Rush is doing the same, but, uh, okay, gonna trap that, gonna trap that, uh, Leprechaun by the shop there. Sailor Mint going into that shop and buying a torch here. It's gonna be able to see where they're going. But Rush is down to the zone. One boss first. It is King Kanga. I am 2-0. It's so good. The chipsels. Should play one next. And there you see Sailor Mint using that, uh, Blood Drum to get King Kong got off of the off of his uh, throne that much quicker. Finding a, 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 a fireball spell in the purple chest, Rush is gonna find the same. But Mint's Sailor Mint's build is like leaps and bounds better than Rush's right now. Uh, Rush is gonna need to get bailed out soon if uh, they're gonna be putting up a close race here, or could just pull off a perf uh, perfect run and uh, you know do it that way too. Both of our racers are down to 2-2. Two, two. Rush finds a uh, trap door early on here, but is going to check uh, the shop first. Trying to flush out this build. Gets a backpack cheese. And is going to leave the shovel behind. I would I would have picked that up. Why not? You can dig tier 2 walls. But Rush taking that uh, trap door. Gets down to the same 2-3 just as Sailor Mint does. But Sailor Mint killing the mini boss and going down the stairs. Sailor Mint is down to the zone two boss first, your Coral Rift. Pretty straightforward zone two here. Not a lot of, uh, actually, they have tons of bombs. <laughs> I was gonna say, I didn't see anyone pick up bombs, but uh, both of our racers now have six. Rush about to have five after uh, getting Coral Rift off the top line there. Sailor Mint does get that flawless victory. We're gonna be checking Purple Chest again here, and it's a bomb spell, so bombs are not gonna be a problem. Need more chipsel. Where's it at? Okay. Good. Rush got that same bomb spell after uh, the Coral Rift fight. Ooh, Sailor Mint using that uh, fireball spell to his advantage, finding some cookies here. Uh, getting kind of swarmed here, trying to eat them though. So a lot of time wasted there. And he's going to want that blood drum back, I think, here. Yeah, so taking a slide on this ice. This is this is wasting a lot of time. <laughs> As our rush is caught up here and is actually kind of like a beat or two ahead. There is a crack wall right before these stairs, but Sailor Mint's not going to have the opportunity to get it. Does slide right into those stairs rush is going to check it out it's going to be an arena has a free spell in it get the free spell oh wants to keep that bomb spell i guess that free spell is real good you can use it offensively defensively amazing I did fight coral riff already though so don't have that Ooh, there is a monster shopkeeper over here. It looks like Mince wants to check out what's in it, but <laughs> can't find the door for it. It's just going to blast open the wall here. Uh, it's not great. Um, we'll pick up that crown of, thorn Crown of 
thorns. <laughs> I was going to say crown of thorn, uh, thrones. I can't talk right now. Uh, but get some extra armor there. So it has pretty much heavy plate and healing. So Sailor Mint really has a nice build here. Uh, getting swarmed. Needs to kind of generate some health before it's totally safe. Uh, Resh is keeping pace, though. Uh, does have a full three heart with that Obsidian uh, Rapier, though, in tow. Did find those cookies as well, so it does have some healing of their own. Is going to get into this uh, Monster Shopkeeper. Ooh, that uh, locked door makes it super scary. But Rush is going to pick up the same items before moving on. And uh, Rush is going to go down the trap door here and uh, almost get ahead of Sailor Mint for a little bit. But uh, Sailor Mint did uh, just kill and go down the stairs. So we're on to uh, your zone 3 boss for Tissimal. And uh, Mint can actually get a lot of health generation here on all these enemies. So uh, down to heart and half. I'm gonna check the purple chest again. It's a heal spell. I think you picked that up. Yeah, at least for one heal, which uh, Sailor Mint does do. Rush is gonna get rid of that bomb spell and take along that heal spell, which I like as well because uh, Rush is gonna have to push a lot here to keep pace, and um, being able to heal is gonna help. For Sailor Mint, can kind of bounce off enemies. Uh, isn't really gonna take much damage from it. Um, Oh, it looks like Mint did take the heal spell, too. So this is going to allow him to do what he's doing right now, just fireball for days, and he, he takes out everything. He gets a nice little bit of a lead against Rush here, who has a lot of bats behind him, and uh, this Blade Master is not being a friend. Does manage to take out that mummy. Look at all these bombs in zone four. Bombs are not a problem. So switching off of that bomb soul is a really good choice by both of our racers. Vince getting kind of trapped here by uh, the blood nightmare, but does manage to get out of it. Sailor Mint going down to four three. Gonna get a nice little pixie kiss here for some extra health. Oh, look at all these barrels. I bet they got some delicious food in them. You don't need to use a bomb, Sailor Mint. You have uh, three damage. But nothing really to be found in those barrels, though. Look at 19 bombs. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Mint's just like, whatever. I have 19 bombs. Let's use these. Uh, it's really good use of them, actually, using them on Blade Masters, both of them. <laughs> that one just kind of got laid. Uh, oh, there's so many bombs. This is kind of amazing what Mint's doing. <laughs> uh, Rush does. Oh, wow. Rush actually has a really nice build now. Finding the bomb charm. Um, blew up the uh, Ring of Peace, though. Uh, Sailor Mint down to the Zone 4 boss. It is uh, Deep Blues. Does get the flawless victory and will be moving on. I'm really impressed by Rush here, uh, keeping the pace with Sailor Mint. Down to uh, Deep Blues themselves, but Sailor Mint does have the clear advantage in Zone 5. Even taking some time to check the shop. Doesn't like anything he sees, so is going to move on. Rush using that bomb charm and the fireball to take out Deep Blues. Uh, pretty much has to go down the stairs and and didn't have a flawless, so that's what they're going to do. Oh, this Minotaur is getting so far away from Sailor Mint, though. That's going to eat up so much time. And now Sailor Mint's going to pick up that extra stuff in the shop. Uh, switches off of the uh, the hard greaves, though. I don't really like that. Um, that was some nice armor you were touting along with it. But that allowed Resh to catch up almost a couple beats as uh, Resh is moving down to 5-2 just as Sailor Mint's uh, clearing out the first few enemies. So this is going to be a close finish. Good fireball uses by Sailor Mint. Needs to heal. Heals on the stairs but doesn't get the second heal before. And did make up some time there against Resh. But Sailor Mint really needs a push here if he wants to build that advantage. He's missing the right place to go, though. He needs to go down. He went too far to the right. Now he's opening all the wrong doors. 
This is allowed Resh. Oh, Resh might be watching him. Doesn't see that it's straight down either. Sailor Mint's down to Dead Ringer first. You can see by all those walls there, they all were in the same. Oh my gosh, holy moly. <laughs> oh, I stopped it. But Mint getting a flawless. Uh, we're all taking out the Dead Ringer using that Blood Drum, it looked like. But a misplay by both of our racers there. Uh, Sailor Mint's really fortunate that Rush missed that because uh, Rush could have made up the time there. Sailor Mint just gonna take these tank these bombs. I like that. And getting that first hit with that blood drum that he brought all the way from one two. Well worth uh, the voyage. Already has two hits on the neck dancer just as Rush is getting the neck dancer off the stage. Um, this will need to be a controlled win by Sailor Mint. Can sometimes get off the rails on the Necrodancer fight, but it's already over. Sailor Mint's gonna take this last, uh, victory over Resh. Excellent last race by both of our racers. I was really impressed that, uh, Resh was able to keep up with that minimal build early on. GG's. All right, I'm...